How's it going guys? Derek Walker here, owner of Walker & Wood. Today I want to talk about uh, dreaming, visions, setting lofty goals for ourselves, uh, big goals, dreaming big, uh, and not just talking about it, but then also putting things into action to get the ball rolling. Because I believe that everything starts with a dream, everything starts with an idea. It did for my company, Walker & Wood, five years ago, just an idea. Uh, what if, could this be my full-time gig? Could this uh, set me up for success in the future? Could we be financially free as a family? Could I set my kids up for success? Um, all of the above. Um, and I started out in this path of Walker and Wood as a side hustle, but I had lofty dreams, lofty goals, and I was gonna get after it. And what that looked like um, was simply after every project when I would make some money, I would start to reinvest it back into the business so that I could buy something, buy a tool that would um, help me become more efficient and also would help deliver a better product. And so I really did this across the board and I still do this to this day, constantly looking at how can we improve the process, how can we improve the product um, and what do I need to reinvest in order to make that happen. Uh, that happened also with uh, just even simply as my vehicle. I had a two-door Jeep Wrangler, and that wasn't a great lumber hauler, so I got rid of that and I bought a pickup truck because uh, that opened up now a whole new avenue of things that I could do. I could now uh, put stuff in the truck bed. I could do deliveries that way. I could buy lumber, um, which led then led me to my next stumbling block was, well, I was taking on bigger and bigger projects at this stage, and sometimes I couldn't fit them in the truck bed, so I was renting U-Haul trailers. I was borrowing friends. Um, trailers and, and things like that and so then I, in order to get to where I was going I had to splash out some money and buy a 16 foot enclosed trailer which then brought me to a new level I was able to um, be more efficient with my time I wasn't waiting for a U-Haul trailer anymore um, I could just go get my own trailer um, and then the next step was uh, shop space. I was in a two-car garage for the longest time and it was great but I was turning down projects because I could not fit in there um, I, everything was on wheels and it was just getting old and so if I wanted to grow if I wanted to get to where I was going um, I had to take a leap and so I went and we're in a shop space in downtown Nashville where we're at right now and honestly we've outgrown that space uh, and part of my dreaming big right now is thinking about uh, buying a piece of land and building my dream shop uh, and I'm making steps towards making that a reality um, but that was the next step going from garage to large shop and then if I wanted to take Walker and Wood to where I was wanting it to go, I couldn't just do it by myself. I was doing everything. Um, so I started to create a team. I started to create uh, and hire certain guys in certain areas that we could um, bring Walker and Wood to the next level. Uh, and now it's kind of brought me to this place where I now just want to pour back. I want to encourage the next generation. I want to walk alongside people um, in business to help them reach their full potential and help them dream big. So um, anyway, it's, it's come full circle. But I, I wonder sometimes why we don't allow ourselves to dream big. Um, sometimes we don't even allow, allow ourselves to even dream. Maybe we're in a job right now that we don't enjoy. We're in a nine to five grind where we clock in and clock out and we don't look forward to it every day. And sometimes we don't allow ourselves to dream about what could be because um, we, we're listening to external factors. We're listening to voices of other people. We're listening to society. We're listening to the own lies that we tell ourselves that you're not good enough, uh, that there's somebody that's better, um, that you're not qualified, you're not capable. Um, you can't do this because of your past. What, whatever that looks like, we limit ourselves so often um, to beginning to even dream about things. Um, rather than taking steps forward to pursuing that, we're heading in the other direction. And so my whole challenge and, and, and the conversation today really is to help encourage you to not just dream, but to dream big, lofty goals, uh, and then just to chase after them. Um, sometimes it's, it's, it's easy to play safe, to, to play realistic, and just to, to go with the flow, to stay in the current nine to five, to stay where things are safe and where things are known and, and to be comfortable. I, I understand that, but there is, there is such freedom and um, with pursuing and stepping out and pursuing dreams and changing family trajectories and changing family trees and, and, and creating just that level of freedom for you and your family. Um, so uh, today I really just want you to, to think about, stop listening to people, stop listening to the voices around you, um, stop listening to what you're, what you're telling yourself about your past, about how you're not good enough, um, because you are. 
you are capable and you can you can do i i believe me when i first started out at walker and wood i had so many people message me on instagram and social media being like are you serious you're gonna stay out here till 11 12 o'clock at night like what a waste of time you're making cornhole board, boards and cutting boards like you're not coming out with us and doing this and and I got so much flack because of my vision and my goals and the stuff that I wanted to achieve. And, and here I am now looking back and I'm just so grateful that I stuck to it. I'm so grateful that I, um, that I just put my head down and that I didn't listen, that I had goals and I had places in which I wanted to go and to be. Uh, and so I, 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 start, I, I, st I just decided to not listen. I decided just to close my ears and just to and to dream big and, and go. Um, what I would challenge you to do is just to get out a piece of paper and just to start listing ten goals, ten dreams that you have, and uh, and just and just to write them down, and then from there begin to think about okay, well, what are some small steps that I need to do in order to begin the process of achieving these goals? Maybe for you, it's like I I want to be financially free. I'm in over my head with debt right now okay well i have a dream of being debt free and not just debt free but being wealthy um, maybe it's for you I, I have a dream of owning this certain car or this certain house or i have a dream of just being physically fit and in shape and and healthier than i've ever been or maybe you have a dream of i just want to be extremely generous um i want to you know be known for it as a giver and so uh, the dr your dreams could look completely different um, than mine, and uh, I've I've got my own list of goals and dreams that I'm working towards. But list those out on a piece of paper, uh, and then start to when you look at those, start to put bullet points beside them as and and really just as a starting point to see well, okay, well, what do I need to do in order to achieve these goals um, that I've set out. Um, I also want to ask, you know, what, what are your habits? What are your daily habits? Because I believe that in order to achieve goals and not just to achieve them, but to crush them, I, I think that you have to set up daily habits, daily rituals, daily things that you do um, that just create discipline. Uh, for me, one of my goals is to be healthier than I've ever been at 32. I, I look back and I think, oh, well, the best shape that I was in was in college. And I'm now setting goals for myself that I want to be the healthiest version that I can be, not just for me, but for my family, uh, that I want to be a good example for my kids, uh, that I want to be able to play on the ground with them and not be creaking and sore. Um, and so I'm setting uh, habits and creating discipline about being out, working out at five o'clock every morning. Do I want to get up at that time and work out in the cold in my garage? No, I do not but I've seen the benefits of creating daily rhythms, daily habits, um, coming in from that workout and eating a healthy breakfast every morning, starting my morning reading scripture, uh, reading a book, uh, finding myself creating daily habits is setting me up for success. And so I wonder what that would look like for you to, to begin to create daily habits to help you succeed. What I've also learned is that small thinking can really hinder my activity and what i mean by that and let me phrase that again like what thinking small i in turn makes me less productive if i keep the lofty big dream vision and goal at the back of my head i am more driven i'm more enthusiastic i have got more energy um, i've got more go about me and so um Let's dream big, guys. Let's set big, lofty goals um, that drive us, that push you forward. Um, and and a lot of people create a vision board. A lot of people create um, a board and they keep it maybe in their office or things that just keep them motivated. I don't know what that looks like for you, whether it's a screensaver on your phone, whether it's something that you visit often just to remind you. Uh, I just keep replaying dreams and visions and goals in my mind daily. Uh, and that's kind of what spurs me on. But I also understand that dreams sometimes can be buried. Um, they can be buried under discouragement, past mistakes, failed relationships, um, things that people have said to you in the past uh, that have got you down. And so this idea of dreaming big, maybe it's, it's starting from a place of, of low self-esteem because maybe you don't even believe in yourself. Maybe you don't even believe that it's possible, that you can change that you can change your story that you can change your family story 
um, it can be very easy to settle for mediocrity. It can be very easy just to go with the flow and just to live life and clock in and clock out and do the minimum. Um, but what would it look like for you to not just do the minimum, to not just be mediocre, but for you to really raise the bar, raise the level, uh, and to begin to chase some lofty uh, dreams? And if maybe something set you back, um, maybe you didn't get that raise that you were hoping that you were going to get at the end of the year. Maybe you were banking on getting that uh, percentage raise and you didn't get that. Uh, maybe it, it, it was a medical report that you got that has set you back, a, an illness that's come maybe upon you or a family member and, and really you weren't expecting it and it set you back. Maybe it's um, a relationship that you were banking on that just didn't work out or uh, your marriage isn't going well or w whatever that looks like for you. Maybe it's a relationship with a family member and, and it's just sucking the life and energy out of you. And maybe uh, for you in a business that you got a bad review. Um, you work hard on your business and you had a difficult client or difficult customer and uh, somebody left a bad review. Or um, So sometimes we have setbacks. We have setbacks that then um, bring down our self-esteem, bring down um, our enthusiasm uh, and, and can set us back. Um, but here's the encouragement is that your dream, your vision, it might be buried under a lot of stuff, uh, but it's still alive. It is still alive. The dream is still there. It's not too late. It doesn't matter what age you are. What age you are. Uh, this morning, I met for coffee with an eighteen-year-old that just started college. One semester in, he left. He realized that college was not for him. Uh, he had this idea of where he wanted to go, um, but he and he pursued it. He went after it, and after a couple of months in college, just realized this isn't for me. Uh, and so he just had the the guts just to reach out and to message me and say hey Derek like I really admire what you're doing what your business is doing and I'm just a young 18 year old kid but I've got um, a dream of actually getting into the trades I've got a dream of working with my hands and I've got a dream of creating this uh, business uh, model for myself um, and I would love to get together with you for coffee incredible conversation this morning with this kid um just an 18 year old guy fresh out of high school tried college wasn't for him now he's got some crazy lofty goals and i'm like yes get it go for it so we had a great discussion doesn't matter with if you've been in the in your job for the past 30 years um you've got a dream and you've got a vision or you've got something that you want to do or achieve in your life it is not too late it is never too late Believe in yourself and try again. Maybe it's something that you tried 10 years ago, five years ago, a couple months ago. You tried it for a while. You tried to get back in shape. You made New Year's resolutions. You had this idea of where you wanted to be. It didn't work out. It is not too late. You can start again. You can start again. So my challenge for you today is to not let people crush your dreams, to not listen to not listen to society, to not listen to those people around you, um, to not let circumstances halt you, but to stay focused and to dream big, to set lofty goals and to crush them and to pursue them and to go after them. Um, I wonder what that looks like for you. I wonder what dreams uh, for your life and for your current situation that you have. Um, I would love to talk more with you about those if you've got some i'd love to leave for you to leave those in the comments section or, or send me a message on instagram or whatever i would just love to to hear those and, and just to really walk alongside you and encourage you um because it, it can be a lonely place to um pursuing dreams uh, because sometimes you're the only person that believes in it um again walker and wood was uh, it was hard to start. I had my closest family members were my really my only supporters and some close friends. But a lot of people were saying, that, are, you, are you sure uh, you're leaving security and you're starting out on this? But I said, I've got a, I've got a dream. I've got goals. And, and, and here's, here's my reality is I get, to, I get close to, to reaching that goal and then I set a new one. Uh, I'm never at a place where I'm just achieving a goal, I'm always constantly setting a new one, setting a new one, trying to be better, trying to be better. Um, so anyway, I uh, hope you're doing well. Thank you for listening today. Uh, again, if you would 
um, like, share, uh, follow along the journey. I'd really appreciate it. But until next time, thanks, guys. <laughs>